Mr. Ed here. Today is, I don't know what day it is, but it doesn't matter because today I'm in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and guess who is with me? Come on, guys. That's right, guys. It's the Three Amigos. That's right. We're here to wrangle bees out of out of a house up in Baton Rouge. And so, what, Charlie? You notice that Ralph's got foliage in front of his face. Yeah, that's face. because he's Mr. Oh, get in, Ralph. Get in here. Get in here. <laughs> yeah, look, that's Ralph. It is really good, Ralph. We are. We all are here. But by the grace of God, these bees in Baton Rouge, they're going home with Rick and Ralph, and they're going to be set up at his place. You all ready, Wrangler? Ready. I'm ready to go. Let's do it. Let's do it. The bees are in the soffit, and the homeowner has already taken the vinyl off of it, and there's uh, plywood underneath that. So what, what Ralph is going to do is he'll cut that plywood section out uh, where the bees are and we'll expose it to get it. Now I'm going to show you what the bees look like on, on the flare. You can see the signature of the bees. I'm going to put the spotlight on them. There you go. So the bees are located from this point. They come out to here. And in all this section, that's where our bees are located. So Ralph's gonna get up there. I think we're gonna have to smoke these bees and cut that plywood out and expose the hive. Well, I forgot to uh, mention, y'all have to stay tuned to the end of this video because at that point, I'm gonna make a very, very, very special announcement. So stay tuned for that announcement. That's right. one out. I'm, I'm looking at the color of this comb and this hive has not been here long. I'm guessing it's a, a this year's swarm so you know early March sometime May so they've been in it for about six seven months and they've really they fill the entire area up. This area right here this is all our honey and of course, when we get over here, our brood. And I'll start removing the honey section out first so we get closer to our brood area. And of course, the likelihood of finding our queen is going to be up in here. Wow, beautiful hive, beautiful hive. And that's all there is to it. Nice. <laughs> I vacuumed off a bunch of the bees uh, from up there right now and I'm going to start on this end of the hive and start removing this honeycomb right here and it's only four inches it looks like it's only four inches so it's not going to be real deep comb but these the, the comb isn't straight it's actually curved arch so I'm going to have to remove it in sections and every time you cut it the honey is just going to start running out. So it's going to be a mess for sure, but we have to work our way this way to the bees and hopefully we're not going to get them to run to either side of that two by four on either side and hopefully they won't run down between the brick and the wall itself. We'll find out though. So Jeff, what is that honey going to do? It's going to Yeah, it's going to go And you know where it's going to Right on top of you. me, on top of me, that's right. On top of your nice clean suit. That's right, look, look at oh, look Washed in everything. <laughs> oh, good thing he's got mowing <laughs> Yeah. All right, let's, um, let's take a shower.
we got a, a power outage. I don't know what the problem is there. Um, there's no GFI. Something's tripped and now our vacuum's not working. But it gives me an opportunity to once again remind you stick around to the end of the video because I've got a very, very, very important message to tell you. So, all right, back to the remote. As you can tell, we finally reached the brood area. And what's really good as well is that I've got enough room now to be able to use a hive tool to detach the comb from the ceiling up there. And by being able to do that, I'll be able to get out large sections of this comb now so that we can start framing this up. So it'll take probably like two strips of these combs pieces of uh, two strips of this one comb uh, and it'll it'll probably make a good frame we might have to put two sections of comb in there but we'll get it done bees are really calm
as you can tell, we are now out of the brood and back into the honey section of the comb. And as I was removing that comb, it just kept pushing the bees further and further back. And, and this is the area that they were running towards right there. And this is, that, that's always what you, I worry about is they get behind this brick veneer and they can run back there. And the only way we can get that out, get the bees out of there is using the honey robber. So let's go ahead and remove the rest of this comb, see how far back it goes, and then find out where the rest of these bees are hiding. Thank you, Jesus. Man, look at that girl. Big old butt. That, that was a very hard fought battle. It really was. She was running up into that cluster. She'd jump up above the floor joist, the ceiling rafter, come out, go back up there. And I saw her do that four or five times. I couldn't reach her. And, and I saw her then crawl behind the rafter and I knew she was coming out on the other side. And I, and I said, just wait for it. As soon as she came out, boop, I picked her up. So, whew, thank you, Jesus. We're going to wrap this thing up. Yeah, we got us a ton of bees in here. We vacuumed. How long did we vacuum for, Charlie? At least uh, two hours. Yeah, I think we cut honey out of there for two, for hours. two hours. And we yeah. cut honey out for two hours. We're going to start taking it apart, yeah. Ralph, and we'll... So th what, this is Ralph's bee vac, and it's the same design as, as mine, so it, they, the design is a RoboVac. And they have the, the vacuum head on top of the, of the vacuum, and it, it lifts off. Ralph's is attached. Or no. Mine lifts off. Okay, and then we have, it just sits right on this chamber right here, and the, then that whole thing lifts off, and then exposes all your bees. So there's all, all the bees that we vacuumed up. And now we're gonna just put a strap across that and that way this frame right here with the netting um, will contain them. Now what's real important about opening up the vac like this is particularly in the summertime is the heat, the bees generate a tremendous amount of heat. And that many bees, 30, 40,000 bees, however many are in here, they, the heat just starts building up and it can actually kill the bees in the hive. So we, we try to open up the, the hive. Now if you, like I can feel heat coming off of the bees this close to them. So we want to get that out of the box. It'll cool the bees down and then it'll, it'll make their, their trip back to Rouse a lot easier. Let's show the difference in heat. This is just the temperature outside in the yard. Now as we move, so it's 81, 82 degrees. Say call it 82 degrees. As we move the flare over to the where the bees are, and we go up to 94 degrees. That's that's how much heat is coming off of those bees. It's amazing, which is why it's so important to open them up and let them vent out. <laughs> All right, so I know everybody has been sitting on the edge of their seat in anticipation of what this big announcement is. And no, it's got nothing to do with the Dirt Rooster, world famous Mike Barry, good Don Charlie, your Wreck-It Ralph. Actually, they are even me. It's, it's, but it is concerning me. And what I'd like to do is offer to anybody who leaves a comment on this video about this, the opportunity or the chance to win something. That's right, something very important. Now, Charlie told me I'm supposed to, I should just burn it or bury it and just get rid of it. But I figured with something as important as this, I think we need to offer it up and let you all make the decision on what's going to happen to it. And, and what is this object that we're going to be giving away? 
Get ready for this. Look at this. It's my old bee suit. That's right. Just like all the sports people, yeah, selling their jerseys for a high dollar, Mr. Ed is giving away for you to frame up in your bee house. Yeah, come on, guys. I really, we got to show the beauty of this thing. This is absolutely stunning. Stunning. And look, it comes with... We need to with, burn it. It comes with holes and everything. <laughs> if, if we let go of this thing, it would stand up all on its own. But you have the opportunity to get a hold of this prize possession, a piece of Mr. Ed Americano right here. So leave a comment saying, yes, Mr. Ed, I am interested in that wonderful prize. Or any Please. other comment. <laughs> and, and we're gonna, I'm gonna put your name in a, in a drum and we'll probably have Miss Mona pull the name out and win. All right, we're finishing up the video and, and we'll, we'll, in a couple of weeks, we're gonna find out who wins this. We're back at Rouse now getting ready to frame all this comb up. And you can see how he stored it inside the ice chests. And the plan is we're going to probably put two of these things per frame, maybe three, depending on how thick they, how wide the, the width of the comb is. But for sure we'll get two of them stacked on top of each other and get all that stuff framed up. Because the honeycomb was not really shape in a way that we could use it really well. Ralph's just going to go ahead and crush and strain all this honey and feed it back to the bees. We'll take the brood comb right here, frame up, now he's probably going to get four frames out of this, drop in some other frames of drawn comb and put that on either side of the brood and then just start feeding the bees the honey. So we're getting ready now to frame up that comb that we cut out of the building on that soffit. And the way that we're going to be doing this is we're going to be stacking two of those sections of comb on top of each other and then fitting them inside of the frame. And to do that, uh, we use the, the method that Mike Barry, world famous Mike Barry, has taught us. He, he claims that he didn't invent it, so I'm, I believe that. So he, his method is use seven inch rubber bands, crisscross them on one side, lay your comb in it, and then repeat that, and the, then the, the, frame will, the, the frame of comb will just stay in between the frame. And eventually, once the bees secure all that comb to the frame itself, they'll cut the rubber bands, and drag them out the hive. Yeah. And there is a certain way we put these in the frame. This is your top. If you put it like this, it won't work because the bees make their cone at a certain angle and then it just wouldn't work. You got to put it at the same angle they built.
All our comb is now framed up and now we're going to go ahead and set the box with all the cut comb, framed up comb, onto the stand back here. We're getting ready to release the bees now onto the comb. And for this momentous occasion, look at this, I've donned <laughs> the suit for the last time. That's right, this could be your suit. You could be wearing this or hanging in your honey house. Whichever case is the last time Mr. Ed will be wearing it. Let's turn these bees loose right now. Up, Charlie. We gotta finish this thing. These bees are. Ralph, why do you got these mean bees? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh man. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Keep on watching. We'll be making more. God bless, Mr. Ed. <laughs> We're out of here. Good job, Charlie. <laughs> bees. Yeah, these, these, oh. these bees are just like. They mean. They're mean. They, they, didn't, they didn't like that ride home from Baton Rouge in the back of Ralph's truck, and they just like. They're just showing they don't like it. <laughs> we, we actually went. To lunch took an hour break and we and they're back and we're still getting and we hit by what two hundred feet away yeah Gee. oh more than that they're way on the other side of this building all right Charlie before we all get stung up again I don't uh -oh. have anything to say other than how almost got me all right we we're right in the middle of them it's bad but it was a good removal and and, uh, and yes it was a good removal <laughs> till we got home. At my house, yeah, and then it became a stinging removal. <laughs> they turn vicious. Yeah, they I think do. these are partially well, Africanized uh, bees, maybe. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Keep on watching. We'll be making more. God, God bless. bless. And Mr. don't forget the suit. Oh, yeah, yeah. The suit. Wait, so God bless, Mr. Red. Good time, Charlie. Wreck it, Ralph. And Ralph, what were you supposed to remind him? Don't forget the suit. See y'all in the next video. Bye. <laughs> God. Great. Is, we gotta go, Charlie.